thank you very much. Uh, very well spoken. Uh, next, we will move to Dirk Grainader. Or Grainader? Grainader. 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 Good afternoon, Chairman Timothy, Chairman Gonzalez, and members of the Public Safety Committee. My name is Dirk Greiniter. I'm 83 years old and have been incarcerated for 24 years, serving life without parole. Today, I wish to focus on H. 2319 and Senate 1535, an act to ensure access to medical parole. Why is medical parole bill needed? The 2018 medical parole bill failed to eliminate wasteful public spending on aging, terminally ill, or permanently incapacitated prisoners, but has also failed to ensure that prisoners are treated with common decency and compassion once they become debilitated. The aging and ailing in prison desperately need this bill, which rectifies these inadequacies, but also preserves public safety. Massachusetts has the oldest prisoner population in the country. 15% are 60 years old. Half of all mass prisoners are serving over 15 years, with one in five serving life without parole. Mass prisons in general, and especially prison health care, are not equipped to deal with this aging population. This often results in tragic barriers to humanitarian treatment. I can attest to severe medical staffing shortages, and that in 2022, for example, the medical department failed to respond to almost all sick call slips for at least four or five months. Norfolk, the most crowded prison, has had no on-site medical doctor for the last three years, resulting in serious medical neglect and harm. How does this bill benefit Massachusetts? This bill streamlines the definition of permanent incapacitation and requires that both medical evaluation and public safety assessment are based on a prisoner's current physical and cognitive assessments, rather than a person's past history, which is typically no longer relevant. The bill integrates both physical and cognitive factors into the release decisions to assure that prisoners are safely released without decreasing public safety. There is indisputable evidence that prisoners over age 60 who have served more than 15 years pose minimal risks of recidivism even when convicted of violent crimes, including the crime of murder. The new bill reduces today's frequent delays and allows prisoner placement in varied family and home settings rather than forcing prisoners to be so debilitated that they must be placed in skilled nursing facilities, which only increases costs and delays release. The cost of incarcerating the average prisoner has soared to $133,000 per year, but elderly prisoners, especially when ill, cost two to nine times that average. Medical release shifts costs to the community services equipped to deal with these low-risk aging prisoners who pose minimal risks to public safety. I urge you to vote in favor of this medical parole bill, which provides notable savings and supports human decency without endangering public safety. Thank you for, for hearing me. Thank you. 